acceptable to you, O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. Amen. Hallelujah, Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Hallelujah. All right, I know it's 6.30 in the morning, and you're not a big crowd, but we can do better than that. Hallelujah, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. Uh, we'll let that pass. It's okay. This morning is a morning that we all look forward to, right? It's a morning we get up and we celebrate in the sanctuary. It looks beautiful. We have flowers, unless you don't like to smell flowers. Um, we have flowers and we have now white cloth on the cross and it's all the stuff's back and it's gold and it's shiny and it's a beautiful morning, right? Imagine, imagine what it was like for Mary that morning. Right? The Gospel of John this morning, Mary Magdalene goes to the tomb early in the morning. She's frightened. She's scared. She just witnessed Jesus being executed two days before. It's not a fun morning for her. She's going to the tomb to mourn and weep over Jesus' body. And as she approaches the tomb, she notices that the stone is rolled away, and she runs back immediately and tells Peter and the disciple that Jesus loved, who is probably John, that they've taken his body. How did she know that his body was gone? According to the reading, she didn't get to, into the tomb, right? She went... So she went on her way to the tomb. Mary Magdalene came to the tomb and saw the stone had been removed from the tomb. That's all she saw. She didn't go in. How did she know that Jesus was gone? And she runs back and she tells the disciples and they all both run to the tomb. And John stops at the door and looks in. And Peter runs in and sees that he's gone. And they looked and they believed. And they went home like nothing happened. Right? what it says. They ran to the tomb, they saw that he was gone, and they thought, well, okay, let's go have some fish. And Mary stays there and wonders what has happened. Two angels show up and ask her why she's crying, and she says, because because Jesus is gone. And then she turns around and she sees somebody. And, it, and I've done this several years. I've, I've asked this question, I know, of several Easter mornings. Have you ever seen somebody that you knew and knew so well that there's no way that you could forget them? But when you looked at them, you had no clue who they were. Have you ever been so distraught or so caught up in emotion or so out of kilter that you look at somebody that you should know without a doubt and you have no clue who they are. Because we wonder, how could Mary Magdalene, a woman who spent probably all three years, the same three years that these disciples walked with Jesus, with Jesus. This was a person who Jesus cleaned, who claimed was clean and brought her along with him on most of his journeys. She would have known him as intimately as the disciples would have known him. And yet when she looks at him, she doesn't have a clue who he is. Just like the disciples who make their way down the road to Emmaus a little bit later on today. Right? In the Gospel of Luke, we could hear the story of the road to Emmaus where two disciples walk and Jesus joins them. And they have no clue that it's Jesus. And we wonder, how in the world could you not know that it was Jesus? How many times do we miss Jesus every day of our life in the face of a friend, in the eyes of a stranger, in an outstretched hand of a person in need? You see, this morning is not about us understanding how much we love God or how much we can do for God. This morning, the morning that Jesus walked out of the tomb. This morning. The morning that we proclaim that Christ is risen and that nothing can contain him. This morning is about how much God loves each and every one of us. Even when we don't notice him. Even when we don't seem to get it right. 
even when we, like the disciples, go home and have fish. This morning is about how much God loves each and every one of us. And about how much God loves Jesus and loved him enough that he wasn't going to abandon him to the tomb. That he wasn't going to abandon him to the grave. It's about Jesus calling each and every one of us by name as he did to Mary at the end here. When Mary looked at the gardener and said, where have you taken his body? Just tell me and I'll take care of it. And Jesus looked at her and said, Mary. And instantly she knew who he was. And instantly she bowed to her feet and worshipped Jesus. Because it's not about God leaving Jesus in the grave. It's about the fact that, that no stone, no grave, not even death can keep God from doing what God is going to do for us because of how much he loves us. And he shows that and proves that through what he did to Jesus. And through Jesus. So on this morning, when we see exactly how much God loves us, let us go into the world and share that love with everyone so that all might come to know exactly that love and live in the light of God's grace and mercy throughout all of their lives. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah.